guys welcome to vtcacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss about sets so in our previous video we already discuss about sets so here in this presentation first we are going to revise the concept of sets and then in the next section we are going to discuss about equality of two sets and then we are going to discuss about cardinal number of a set so here a set is a well defined collection of objects and here the objects are nothing but the elements of a set now let me explain this concept with the help of an example over here so here we have the example as set with the elements 1, 3, 5, 7 and then so on so here we observe that the elements are the odd natural numbers now let us denote the set with the letter o and write the elements here 1, 3, 5 comma 7 so on so here we call these numbers as the elements of a set which are written in a row and then separated by the commas and enclosed in a braces so we can write this in a set builder form as x is such that x is an odd natural numbers and here in the set builder form we represent x which is common to all the elements of the set and now let us solve the second example so here we have the second example as a set of real numbers which satisfies the condition 2x is equal to 3 and now let us transfer 2 to the other side and we get here the x value as 3 divided by 2 and here we get the element of a set a as 3 divided by 2 so this we can write in a set builder form as x such that 2x is equal to 3 where x is a real number and coming to the next section let us discuss about equality of two sets so here two sets a and b are the equal if and only if every element in a belongs to b and every element in b belongs to a so here we represent this symbol to write belongs to and now let me explain this concept with the help of an example over here so here we have the elements of the set a as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so here we say that the So we say here six and seven does not belongs to A as they are not the elements of the set A. Now let us solve here few examples. So here we have the first example as A is equal to E O I U A, and here we have B as a set of vowels in English alphabet. So we already know that the vowels of English alphabet are A E I O U. The every element of A belongs to the every element of B, and the every element of B belongs to A. So we call these two sets as equal, and we can write here the set A is equal to set B. Now let us solve here the second example. So here we have the elements of the set X as one comma two comma three, and we have Y is a set of natural numbers. So here we know that. the set of natural numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4 and then so on so here we observe that the set x is not equal to set y as the elements of y does not belongs to the elements of x now let us proceed and discuss about cardinal number of a set so here the number of elements of a set is called as cardinal number of a set and now let me explain this concept with the help of an example over here So here in the first example we have the elements of the set A as 1, 2,3 and we have the elements of set B as a, b, c, a. So here we represent n of a to write the cardinal number of a set. So here we have the number of elements in the set A as 3 and here in the set B a is repeated for the two times so we cardinal number of the set B as 3. and here we already know that a null set is a set with no elements 
So the cardinal number of a null set is zero. The number of elements in the set A as three. Cardinal number of the set B as three. Now let us represent this in the form of a Venn diagram. So here we have drawn two Venn diagrams in which the first Venn diagram represents the set A as it contains the elements of the set A, and we represent the second Venn diagram as B. as it contains the elements of b now let us map the elements of a with the elements of b so first let us map the first element 1 of the set a with the first element of b that is a and similarly we can map 2 with b and 3 with c and here as every element of the set a is mapped with one and only one element of the set b we call this has a one to one correspondence and we can represent the correspondence in two ways so we can represent it as a correspondent to b and we can also represent this as a correspondence to b so this was a basic introduction on sets hope you understood the concept do like and subscribe to vtshakademy.com thanks for watching have a nice day